चलिए मैंने पंद्रह बढ़ा दिया अच्छा ही है तो आपने कहा कि चार हजार कम्प्लीट हो गया है वो ठीक है तीन हजार आठ सौ कितना है exactly? 400, 400, 400. तो फिगर उसको छोड़ के लेट्स कम्प्ट क्वेश्चन इसके आपने थोड़ा जवाब इसका दे दिया है राहुल जी का क्या एक पर्टिकुलर गोल था इस यात्रा का भारत जोड़ो के बगैर आई एम टॉकिंग फॉर एज पर पोलिटिकल पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू राहुल जी का नेक्स्ट कदम क्या होगा दूसरा एक ही सवाल जो यही है यही सी के साथ है नहीं क्या, आपने सवाल क्या, पूछ लिया है उनका जवाब सुनिए क्या रेस्टोरेशन ऑफ स्टेटहुड जम्मू कश्मीर के लोगों की प्रॉब्लम्स का फुलफ्लज सोल्यूशन है या उसके बगैर भी कुछ करना होगा लाइक टॉक विद नेबरिंग कंट्रीज आई थिंक I think uh, statehood and restoration of uh, the democratic process in Jammu Kashmir is fundamental and very important. Uh, and I think that would be a first step. The steps that come after that, I don't want to necessarily comment on here. But I think I think all other states in India have an assembly. have a democratic functioning democratic process and i think uh, it should be restored in jammu kashmir as well and also uh, an appropriate solution should be found in ladakh because even the even the ladakhi people are not happy with what has happened you did answer no no please i did i did answer no no inka pehla sawal hai ab aapka agla kadam kya hai what is the next step and jo bar jo answer only answer mission tha as per political point of view uske kuch aur important hai Bharat Jodo is a vision. It's an idea of how India should move forward. Okay, it's not just a walk. Uh, the the walk is an expression of a sentiment. Uh, the sentiment is listen to people, embrace people. be affectionate to people and there are other possibilities to deepen this idea which we will take thank you ndtv se nazir masoodi rahul ji you talked about two visions congress what you say love and inclusiveness and bjp rss a uh, hate filled vision Do you think that uh, decision of August 5, 2019 was born out of that hate-filled vision? And also, you must be aware about the delimitation process in Jammu and Kashmir. And most of the rather all the opposition parties have said there was extreme gerrymandering. Extreme? Extreme gerrymandering. And uh, do you think that you know the uh, parameters which were employed uh, to determine the new boundaries of uh, assembly seats? other than population if this template is employed in other states would you be comfortable look i that? think i think it is what the rss and bjp are doing across the country is attacking the institutional framework of this country whether it is parliament whether it is assemblies whether it is the judiciary whether it is the media all institutions are being attacked and captured by the bjp what you are seeing in different parts of the country and in jammu and kashmir are a result of that assault on the institutional framework okay the reason one of the main reasons we have taken the bharat jodo yatra is because when we talk in parliament our mic is shut off so frankly being a member of lok sabha means nothing i can sit there i can raise my hand and say i want to talk about uh, note bandi you can't i want to talk about gst you can't i want to talk about china you can't i want to talk about democracy in india you can't so this is not only going on in jammu and kashmir it is happening uh, in jammu and kashmir but it's happening all, all across the country and it's happening in different ways in different parts of the country we've lost government after government after government after winning election we won the election in madhya pradesh and our government disappeared right so this is this is a way of operating that they have bharat 24 se tajmul hussain 
राहुल जी आप कश्मीर में मौजूद थे तो आज हुरियत कॉन्फ्रेंस का दफ्तर जो है वो बंद कर दिया गया एक वक्त में जब वर्किंग ग्रुप्स बने थे जयराम रमेश जी मिनिस्टर हुआ करते थे यूपीए वन की बात करें यूपीए टू की बात करें तो उस वक्त में जम्मू कश्मीर में हुरियत कॉन्फ्रेंस को एक आइडियल फोर्स माना जाता था ताकि डायलॉग को नेबरिंग कंट्री से पहले यहाँ के स्टेक होल्डर से बातचीत की जाए हाउ डू यू सी द डिस जनाब गवर्नमेंट लुक एज फार एज आई एम कंसर्न आई एम वेरी क्लियर that the first step in moving forward here is restoration of statehood and restoration of the democratic rights of the people in jammu kashmir and that to me is step number 1 after that what steps are taken uh, i like to i was very clear when we were doing the bharat jodo yatra what are we trying to achieve we are going from place a to place b we want to do the bharat jodo yatra and we want to be clear what we are trying to do i think the next step here is restoration of statehood statehood and also again i repeat uh, a solution for the people of ladakh kashmir life se yawar hussain mr gandhi uh, you basically you have been talking about the working committee resolution of august 6 so it basically says that what happened on august 6 is unconstitutional and undemocratic but it does not say whether you are for the restoration if you vote voted to power my 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 position on 370 and that's the position on the working uh, that the working committee is taken it's very clear we will hand you the document you can read it uh, that's what our position is kns and mohsin khan राहुल जी जैसे आपने बोला कि भारत जोड़ो यात्रा के पीछे एक एम था कि डिफरेंट जो है रिलीजन्स को यूनाइट करके पीस डिफरेंट रिलीजन्स एंड यू नो द पीपल को यूनाइट करके आगे फॉर द बेटर इंडिया सर कश्मीर में यू नो द कश्मीर इज यू नो द इपिटोमी ऑफ ब्रदरहुड एंड लव सर यहाँ पे ऑलरेडी जो है ब्रदरहुड अमंग डिफरेंट रिलीजन्स है सर कश्मीर वट शुड अ कॉमन कश्मीर एक्सपेक्ट फ्राम दिस यात्रा क्योंकि वी हैव नॉट सीन द इलेक्टेड गवर्नमेंट फ्राम वेरी लॉन्ग well i think the yatra the response that the yatra got in jammu and kashmir was overwhelming and i think lot of people told us that uh, they felt that the yatra reached out to them and the yatra showed them that uh, a a politics of affection uh, respect is possible so the yatra has already had uh, in my view quite a positive effect many people who walked with us and who came uh, from the crowd and walked with us said this to us that look uh, we have come out and we are so happy that you are talking about love and affection Uh, brotherhood in the country uh, it is it's not just a yatra to bring religions together it's a yatra to bring everybody together it's a yatra that is aimed at expressing to people that we are all one we should respect each other all communities all languages all religions all castes we will only move forward effectively if we embrace each other talk to each other iron out our differences and move forward together and that message is gone as far as the yatra is concerned kashmir news bureau se imran naiku the the concrete the concrete uh, position of um, the congress party with regards to jammu and kashmir politics that you will have to discuss with our uh, pcc president and our local unit here as to what uh, they will be doing राहुल जी चूंकि आप जानते कि 5 अगस्त 2019 के बाद बीजेपी ने जम्मू कश्मीर के जो स्टेट के लॉज थे 164 स्टेट लॉज को खत्म किया इसके अलावा नियर अबाउट 800 जो सेंट्रल लॉज है वो जम्मू कश्मीर में इंप्लीमेंट किए कांग्रेस जब भी पावर में आती है क्या इन लॉज को रोल बैक किया जाएगा जयराम 
the land rights and the job rights of the local population right. will be fully protected. So, so one of the one of the main issues that has been coming up here is the fact that uh, people's land is being taken away from them. Uh, we have we've been very clear on that issue. As far as uh, restoration of the democratic structure here, we are very clear. And once the assembly is in place, the assembly will take those decisions. Kashmir News Observer say Owais Ahmed.